Ladies and gentlemen, a couple more words about Fern Tora. She's been working in mental health in Mercer County for almost three decades. She's the one who introduced me to the Stamp Out Stigma Initiative. And if it wasn't for Fern, today would not be happening. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Fern, real loud. I'd like to welcome you all to the fifth annual Stamp Out Stigma. It becomes more difficult every year for me to decide exactly how to introduce myself because there are people in this room who've known me for almost eight years and a lot of you are probably wondering, <coughs> who is this guy and why should I care? I'm a 2014 graduate of the HDFS program and in my last semester here, I organized the first annual Stamp Out Stigma as an HDFS club project. I thought the SOS message exemplified the HDFS program. As future helpers, therapists, social workers, whatever, we wouldn't have anyone to help if they didn't feel comfortable reaching out. My vision for this program was to approach the subject from a variety of both personal and professional perspectives. Over the years, we've heard from an educator, a clinician, and the founder of a nonprofit. But the stories that resonate most are the personal stories. Those are the ones that are written about, and those are the ones that people remember. In the last four years, we've heard from a military veteran with PTSD, we heard from a student who spoke about depression from being bullied and losing his father at a young age. We've heard from a grandmother whose grandchild was addicted to opiates. And we heard from a clinician and educator who spoke candidly about her own mental health. But I was the first personal story back in 2014 when I told my own story of addiction and recovery. Since that time, I've had the opportunity to speak 15 times at a rehab, a college, churches, PHN, a retirement facility, and at Buell Recovery Day. And I want to thank Dr. Joanne Carrick, who you heard from earlier, for giving me access to her campus, to her staff, to funds, to make today possible. It has been like a dream come true for me to watch this event grow. And speaking of growing, this evening I'd like to announce our first ever evening Stamp Out Stigma presentation for the community, next door at seven o'clock, featuring all of us. And I would also like to announce that the Buell Regional Health Foundation awarded Penn State Shenango a $10,000 grant for Stamp Out Stigma for next year. Now I'd like to introduce our keynote speaker for the evening, about whom I'm very excited. She is a clinician, a TEDx 